and we are back at Otter Creek. This is our first time parking in our spot with the new camper and we have just arrived and a lot of people ask what do you do for a bathroom as you can see here's my mom running to the porta potty <laughs> and to everyone about to say why are you making your mom crank it she wanted to crank it okay yeah oh. if, it, if it made that noise yeah okay and here it is all set up we have our shower tent with our shower here our slide out for the dinette. We're all plugged in to the hub right there with our water. Got the king bed slide outs, beautiful views. Going around to the side here, our pop out for the sink. Just getting everything in and organized. We have the awning mm -hmm. set up for the first time. It was a little tricky to figure out, but we figured it out. It sadly wasn't in the manual, so we just had to, you know, eyeball it. We ended up stringing some lights around Patty Sue. If you can see them up top, the little globe lights, we found those at Goodwill for eight bucks. What a steal. They're so cute. So yeah, just another little 360 for you. And here yes. everything is all set up. We have our dinette. Really? really? Our beds all made up. We got our rug okay. down. Do you, do you have a battery? We got our kitchen looking great. Those are some pots and pans we brought for they'll just live in the camper. Here's me attempting to reach the dinette light. And once again, here we are getting our hot water heater started. <laughs> we got it working this time very quickly though. And here we are next morning. Yay! Here is the booth set up for Friday. I got new photos printed of the contestants and I really, really like them. Um, just being able to print new photos each time and having people come up and find themselves is super fun. I think this is my favorite setup we've ever done. I really, I really like how many photos are up and how engaging the booth is. And I'm just going to start prefacing this video now. This weekend was a rough weekend. You are about to see <laughs> in the next couple minutes here. But this beautiful sunny day is going to take a uh, 360. It is not going to be beautiful and sunny. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> and here we are enjoying some lunch. We've got the AC going. I've never thought I wanted an AC unit and a pop-up until summer hits. And then you realize, oh yeah, I definitely want an AC unit. It could also just go around us and that's why they don't ever get rain here. So if you could hear my mom on the radio just now, the thunder is persisting. It is just, you know getting louder and louder and we're getting thunderclaps you know every couple of seconds i don't know if you can hear i'll be quiet <laughs> And I'm going to take this time to explain really quick what is about to happen. The skies open up to the most torrential rain I have ever experienced. And I had to run for my life and my camera gear <laughs> into the judge's booth. As you can see, I like 
barely made it. Um, I was completely soaked. <laughs> Words cannot describe what just happened. Um, I couldn't be filming because it was insane. Um, we just had like a huge storm blow through and I couldn't even see. My mom couldn't even see. We were holding down the tent. We were holding down the booth over there for dear life. This flipped over and was completely covering the AC unit on the other side. We just flipped it back over. Luckily, literally, there's nothing else that happened over here. Um, we did leave a couple windows open, so it's a little wet on the inside, but nothing bad. Um, all the photos are soaked and drying in my truck right now. We lost the shower, of course, that blew over. But yeah, the awning was literally all the way over here. Like it flipped up and over and all the legs were sticking straight out over here. It, that, like, it, it was insane. I couldn't see. I, I just ran to the nearest cover I could. My shoes are, I'm just sopping wet. Thankfully the camera was covered into this rain protector and is safe. We got photo, we got the heat cranked in here. And all the photos are drying up on the dash and in the camper. We just pushed all the water off the tent. Sorry, <laughs> all the frames are soaked. So, like everything, just sopping wet. I was standing right over there. You can see my little stool is still over there when it happened. I ran to that judging shed. Ugh. Oh my God. I can't even describe how bad that was. I wish I had a GoPro on and I could show you what that just was, but it was like, it was so bad, so bad. So after that, we ended up having to go to Walmart because I had soaked through all my underwear. So we had to go get some of that and it was just, it was just a mess. Um, this is a video showing how large this Walmart is. This Walmart might be the biggest one ever. Um, it's so big, I feel like it could have two zip codes. Like it is, incredibly massive. The video does not do it justice. So here we are back at the camper. We have all the photos in with us. We had turned the heat on to try to dry everything out um, for a bit and then we ended up just turning it off. I don't know if you can see how much moisture is just like collected in the air. It just was such a crazy decrease in temperature all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, basically everything is sopping wet um, and we're just trying to, you know, get through the first day. <laughs> All right, and it's Saturday. Good morning, um, or good afternoon. This might be lunch. Yeah, it looks like lunch. <laughs> um, it was a rough morning, you know, just getting all the photos back into the frames, dried off. But as you can see, we did it. Everything survived. Um, this day came with a whole new set of challenges. Instead of raining and yeah, cold, no, I like that. It ended up being the first 100 degree day we had uh, in the Midwest and it took it out of me. I actually ended up getting sick and getting sun exposure, uh, you know, whatever it's called when you are in the sun too long and you end up getting sick. <laughs>
that's what happened. And I ended up being so tired that I couldn't film here for the rest of the weekend. It was just, I was exhausted. I like was barely functioning, just taking photos of people. But I got it done. I just wasn't able to film anymore, so forgive me. Um, and just when we thought the weekend, you know, couldn't get any worse, oh, we end up on the side of the highway blowing out a tire on 394 if you're from Minnesota. And it wasn't in a good spot either. As you can see, I was, I was terrified. I was like, we need to get out of here. People weren't slowing down. We ended up towing it to a Whole Foods parking lot and God bless, Barb and Jean came out of nowhere. We're apparently five minutes away and were able to help us. It, it was like a guardian angel was there and we got the spare tire out. Thank God there was a spare. Look at the state of this tire. Like, and we learned it was actually a retread tire. If you know what that is, it's like when they glue new tread to an old tire, so. Oh. Hello, it has been, I would say, like, two, like, a week and a half, two weeks, as you can see. Patty Sue has a lovely cover on her, super, super high quality cover that came with her when I purchased her. I've had some comments about this trailer in particular that she has, there's a whole lawsuit against Coleman back in the day because of this top actually just being plastic and deteriorating in the sun, and that's why it cracks. But yeah, she's covered and away from the sun, so that is good for Patty Sue. As all of you saw, this tire blew out like in the worst place possible on the highway. And luckily, Barb and Jean were able to come save us and help get the tire off. Um, so right now, I'm actually headed to pick up two new tires for her but guess what found them for free on facebook marketplace facebook marketplace coming in clutch again so let's go get those tires Hi. hello you got lucky you replied quickly i know i know i got I'm lucky like, ding, ding, ding. Like, oh that's God, how I know. That's how it. Facebook Marketplace oh, is now. It's I'm not crazy. on it often, so no, it's it's ridiculous. But I really appreciate this. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yep, you bet. I needed a new spare tire for my camper, and I'm like, these are perfect. Oh yes, they are. Yeah. So you're gonna take them both though. I am. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because then I have an extra spare in mm -hmm. case something else happens. Very nice. Yeah. But thank you so much. Yeah, you bet. You have a good rest. Of your time. You too. So I'm now just lying here editing this video. As you can see, that weekend was crazy. I'm uh, hopeful that I'm actually gonna be going on my first like fun camping trip with Patty Sue coming up soon with my boyfriend Reed. So that will be super exciting to, you know, just relax instead of, <laughs> you know, working and camping at the same time. And I think that'll be really great. But yes, we will get those tires put on either this weekend or next week. We're just going to do it ourselves in the driveway. I think that will be the easiest. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for enjoying pop-up content. Please be sure to check out my Instagram website. Check out my work. If you ever need a photographer, videographer, I'm available to go wherever and whenever you need. So hit me up. <laughs> um, really, thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. I will catch you on the next one.